Joshua speaking, and he talking about the spirit. Now he telling you the spirit what? It quicken. Quicken means to make life, makes alive, animate. Read on. The flesh profited nothing. The flesh profits nothing. Meaning the flesh does not have nothing to do with animation or the giving of life. Like movement, creating or causing movement. The flesh does not cause or create movement or give life of its own. Read. The words that I speak unto you. The Lord said the words that he speaks, God's words, right? That Christ was speaking because he didn't speak his own words. So Christ said God's words is spirit. And what? And they are life. And they are what? Life. Now give me Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself. The what? Spirit itself. The Lord said the Spirit itself, what? Bears witness with our spirit. See that? So the, so the words of the Lord, it bears witness with our spirit. Okay? With our words, what we what we are speaking on, what we speak on, come on. Y'all Israelites, according to the Bible, y'all not black. White people name y'all black. Look it up, know your history, right? Stop thugging each other out because white people laughing at y'all. Stop thugging each other out. Thug out the white man. Thug out your enemies. Thug out the KKK. Yeah, up yours, white man. Up yours. You want to go to war? We hear the war. This ain't times of peace. You know, we know what time it is. Okay, but the weapons of our warfare is not carnal. See, so we here for war. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Understand that. No, you can't understand that. Read. We are the children of God. Read it again from the top. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. So the spirit itself, it bears witness with our spirit. See, holy men of God could project, could teach the scripture. Men of the Lord could teach this scripture because the men of the Lord is who the scripture is referring to. When it says the spirit bear witness with our spirit. You see the spirit of the Bible, it does not bear witness with the majority of you so-called niggas spirit, you black spirit, you nation's spirit. The spirit bear witness with the one third of the 12 tribes with God's chosen people spirit. If you chosen, then the spirit of the scriptures bear witness with your spirit. That's what it's saying. Read it again. Spirit itself is with our spirit. See, so the spirit, the words of God that Christ just explained, the words that he was speaking, and yet the words he spoke through Moses and through the prophets, even through his disciples. Read. That we are the children of God. See that? So the spirit bear witness that we are the manifest. When they say children of God, it means manifestations of God. You understand that? When the Bible says we children of God, it means we are manifestations of God. Right? Not like you have children like that. No, you are, you, you are, you are, um, you know different from God. Who's the him you're talking about? Yourself. The essence of yourself, true core. But when you look in the mirror, that's not what you are. I know. See? So you are the eternal. This is your body. You control everything, everything in the mind and everything. See, and, and, and that one and has a spirit too. You have a spirit, right? Yeah. And you control that spirit. So so that which controls the spirit is God. Right, so so you know, you you are the divine. That's right, and we all are. We all are. But because we all not conscious of that, we got to deal with each other accordingly. But as long as you know, and you always remember, and don't go too hard at somebody. Don't go too hard at somebody, but when they come at you, you got to deal with them accordingly. But at the end of the day, don't hold no hate in your heart toward nobody. Don't hate nobody. You understand? But as far as, as far as, 
your zeal to stand for what's right and, and to anger, you have every right to be angry and deal with a situation with the energy that it require for you to relieve that or get rid of that. But at the end of the day, you know the truth and always know the truth. There's only one, and that's you. Right? That's what the Bible is teaching, but people don't understand that. That's what Christ was teaching. But people don't understand that. They, 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 they don't understand he came to show what was in him is the same thing that's in us. Well, he was manifesting, we could manifest that, that knowledge of what he said. He, I ain't come to speak my own words, meaning the ego. He wasn't in his ego. You see? So that's what it is. Give me St. John 5 and 39 on that. Let's get that, St. John 5 and 39. So when we come, what's your, what's your name, brother? If, Curtis, you got a last name? Right, that's a slave name, that's a trick, you see? So once they, once they made you accept that, that's called accepting the name of the beast in the book of Revelation. The mark of the beast is called the name of the beast or the number of his name when you read Revelation 13 and 16. Now the last name is known as a government name or slave name, slave master name. See, when Malcolm X dropped it, he, broke, he gave the understanding, they try to call him little, but the understanding was that, that tied back to the slave masters to show who he belonged to as a, as a master. You know what I'm saying? You got on a band. This is a symbol of authority. This is a symbol of universal cosmic power, the intersection of the masculine and the feminine forces, represented by the letter Yah, Yod, and He, which is Yah. The, upside, the up triangle and the down triangle interlock represent the union of forces as 12 sides that go with the 12 so sides of the zodiac the with the sozies, yeah, the zodiac sign. All that. Yeah. Like the yin and yang. But this is this is an official this is an official uh, badge that represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah, so this is a clergy badge. So this is the real true government on the earth. All the rest of these governments are fake, and that's why I'm wearing it. We we all should wear a badge. Because badges are symbols of authority. And our authority is delegated to us from the highest, from the highest power. I Meaning it's our authority, is, is our authority, is our power. When, the, when you read the Bible, God is our God. I Meaning that's our power. The, all the angels is ours. They tell you they're ministering spirits and they were made to minister. So all the angels belong to us, the demons belong to us. Yeah, we supposed to, if you don't control them, they're going to control you. They show will. You're damn right. So if you're going to control them, you better use them constructively and know how to use them. My family members, some of them, why had to run from them? I'm talking about they real with them, boy, they killing everything. Yeah, man. My yeah. Family, and we're going to rule over all of them one day. And they in Minnesota, Minneapolis. We gonna, yeah, we're going to rule over all of them one day. But the Lord gave us, give me give me that in um, Luke 10 and, and 19 real quick. And they trying to get me to come back. Y'all don't put me out tomorrow. Oh, when you coming back? You know? That's the devil, bro. Yeah. They low, they, they lower. They stay and they suffering and they want to spread their suffering to you, misery, love company. They ain't finna get me you no read more. that, Luke 10 and 19, real quick. 10, chapter 19, uh, verse 19. Come on. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. See, so that was that was Christ telling his disciples that. I give you power to tread, tread on serpents and scorpions. This is evil, malicious people. Read on. Yeah, and you can look all, in their eyes and see it. And over all, I can look them in their face and say they ain't got no soul. I can yeah. come without no soul. Right. They can't hide from me. Mm -hmm. They can't hide Read. from me. And every brother ain't a brother, and every sister ain't a sister. Either. And over all power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, what you just said ain't every brother a brother. Go to Re um, Romans chapter 9, verse 7. Every brother ain't a brother, every sister ain't a sister. I'm going to show you.